Willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge Sherlock Holmes. Wir spielen heute den zweiten Fall, der namens das Rätsel auf den Gleisen. Äh, ja, wir haben den noch nicht mal angefangen. Und ja, man sieht es mal wieder unrasiert. Zu faul dazu momentan, aber mich stürzt nicht. So. Mal gespannt, ob wir den Fall mal richtig lösen. This trip to the countryside will be good for you, Holmes. Hmm. As your friend and your doctor, I really do recommend that you give yourself a complete change of scene. Fresh air, brisk walks, bird watching, chopping wood. Sounds intolerant. I mean, certainly it sounds delightful. But you haven't yet told me who your friend is. The one we're going to visit. He is a bee lover. A bee lover? Do you mean that he keeps bees? That must be Mrs. Hudson, bringing the warm cloth that I requested. There is someone to see you, Mr. Holmes. I have no time. Send whoever it is away. Yes, Holmes, I really think we ought to leave now. Mycroft. Uh, Sherlock. Oh, uh, Mr. Holmes? Perhaps you don't remember me. I'm Dr. Watson. Uh, we met at the Diogenes Club a few years ago. I documented our encounter in a short story I gave the title The Greek Interpreter. He does remember you, Watson. My brother remembers everything, and that is why he is so valuable to the government. We are about to depart for the train station. I know. You know? Sherlock, I need your help. There are people who presently threaten both our country and the crown itself. You must help us with those methods of yours. Need? Help? Those are not words I would readily associate with you, Mycroft. I wrote you a letter, but you did not reply. And this is not about politics. It's about people. People similar to those whom you pretend to defend in your petty detective affairs. Everything is about politics with you, Mycroft. I'm not interested. Have some of your agents, your spies, or worse, undertake this job of yours. You are defending your people, and they have little to do with the people I choose to help, I can assure you. That is the point. You think exactly as they do. Who are they? The Merry Men. He is talking about the Merry Men, a band of idealistic terrorists. Sherlock, do please think about it. They are planning something diabolical. Your country needs you. You need me, Mycroft, and you are not the country. Although if your waistline expands very much further... Mrs. Hudson, tea will not be necessary. Dr. Watson. The train conductor, Mr. Parker, is aware that you will be seven minutes late. You are in the fourth car. The train will be waiting for you. Sherlock, enjoy your time in Staffordshire. And do please at least write to me on your return. Okay, so, als erstes, ähm, ähm, vor allem das da. So. Ich bin dankbar dafür, dass Sie ein solch großer Detektiv wie Sie. Äh, äh, wer das lesen möchte, Pause drücken bitte. Denn ich werde das nur größtenteils überfliegen. Hm. Tab. Souvenirs. Die Harpune mit der schwarzen mit der der schwarze Peter getötet wurde. Okay. Ja gut. Hier waren wir ja der falsche Spur auf dem Weg. Kann passieren. Äh, hallo? Naja. Ah, 
So, wollen wir mal gucken, ob wieder die Dicke da steht. Die steht halt immer noch da. Die lässt sich wohl gern begutachten. Holmes, please call a cab while I pack my suitcase. We should be late for the train. Ja, aber was muss ich einpacken? Was steht denn hier? Nix. Wow. Hm. Sieht den sein Zimmer immer noch so aus? Ja. Na dann. Watson, I'll hold the cab for us. We leave in five minutes for the station. Eine Woche später. Brr, what a gloomy night. It was warmer inside the waiting hall. Since the station master told us that the train is about to arrive, we should not have to wait very much longer. Yes, at last. Attention, the train is arriving at the station. Please stand well away from the platform edge. I'll take your bags and your blasted archive suitcase. Das ist viel Gepäck. But, Holmes, the headlight, it's faded away. Something is wrong. I can't hear any sound from the incoming train. Excuse me, sir. Can you explain what has happened? I, I don't know. It, it's as if the train vanished into thin air. Yes. Holmes, say something. Quick, fetch a lantern and let us take a look. Okay. It's too dark. Only fog and rails, nothing else. Uh. There is no use in stumbling around here at night. We will come back tomorrow. Okay, im Moment gibt es keine Hinweise. Well, here we are again at Evesham Station. We have a full day ahead. Let us begin our investigation. Ja. Lösen Sie das Rätsel um den verschwundenen Zug. Untersuchen Sie das Gleis an de in dem Gebiet, in dem der Zug verschwunden ist. Na dann mal los, ran an den Speck. Okay. Nicht schlecht aus, muss ich sagen. This map will be useful. Okay. Okay, okay. Noch irgendwas. Nö. Nee. Jetzt ist die Frage, aus welcher Richtung kam der Zug? Äh, Watson, geh mal aus dem Weg. First of all, let us examine the area where the train disappeared. Na ja, aber... Wo ist das? Okay, dann rennen wir mal in die andere Richtung. Da drinnen blubbert's. Okay. This 
is the place where we saw the train vanish last night. A discarded item, possibly thrown from the train. There are no tracks or footprints on the ground. Railway sleepers, nothing unusual. The rails have not been touched. There's nothing <coughs> unusual here. Hmm. There are no signs to indicate that the train ran off the track, nor are there any other traces. There is nothing whatsoever. There are no clues. But then, a negative result is also a result. Oh, I see what you're getting at. No clues and you're smiling. Yes, Watson, I do smile on occasion. This mystery appears very promising. Okay. Lösen Sie es, ja? sammeln Sie mehr Informationen über den verschwundenen Zug. Kann ich jetzt hier noch ein Stück weiterlaufen? Nee. Geht nicht. Hm. Warum blubbert das hier drin? Good morning. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. Yes, I remember you. I'm Station Master Everett. You were here last night. So, you are Mr. Holmes, the great detective. Will you be investigating what happened? I shall indeed. It is extraordinary that an entire train could disappear like that. And to think of all the poor people inside it, the passengers, the driver. Okay. Could you please give us any details about the train? Well, there was nothing so very special about it. At least not that I can recall. My memory's not what it used to be. <laughs> However, if you need it, you can have the train composition report. It's inside my office. Okay. See you later, my good man. Uh, yeah, that was the card. So, wo ist denn sein Office? Ah, hier. Message to our stage, Mr. Robinson is located at Brillington Station. A new telegram. I think we should meet this, Mr. Robinson. Line nothing London. Here is the train set. Yeah. Irgendwas. Ah, hier. Lokomotive, Kollege, erste Klasse Wagen, Postwagen, Sonderwagen. Gebucht von Mr. Robinson, zweite Klasse Wagen. Okay. A telegraph. Ein Telegraph. Noch irgendwas? Nö. So. What the fuck, ey? Ah, die Post. 
Äh, hier gibt es aber nichts Interessantes. Oh. An old locomotive bell. This part is probably from a locomotive. This place serves as a storage area for the station. This part is probably from a locomotive. Warum liegen dort die Päckchen? Warum liegen dort die Päckchen? Äh. Puh. Nein. Wir wollen da nicht raus. Ah, da draußen stehen noch welche mit denen. Werden wir mal quatschen. Ne? Hey, wo kommst du so schnell her? Bist du ein Zauberer? Hä? Hä? Ich kann mit denen nicht quatschen. Was denn das für ein Mist? Naja, wie es weitergeht, erfahren wir in der nächsten Folge. Ich hoffe, es hat euch wie immer gefallen. Wenn ihr lasst einen Daumen nach oben da, lasst einen Kommentar da. Und ich hoffe, wir sehen uns zur nächsten Folge. Wenn ihr zu keine Verspätung habt, bis dann bleibt entspannt. Genießt den Tag. Bye, bye.